Hello, so in this video I'm going to be talking about social work law and how it's relevant to practice. So I, a lot of the information that I'm going to be taking is from a social work law book by Alison Brammer, which I think is an absolutely great book for understanding the law. Um, so a good starting point is to understand that in around the 1980s social work got significant media attention and that was following a number of significant child abuse reports where social workers were emphasised as having an apparent lack of knowledge around legal procedures. And then in 2003 the social work qualification changed um, from a diploma to a degree or master's qualification and that was part of the Department of Health's objectives to raise the profile and status of the profession. Um, so now the degree and uh, places emphasis on various areas to sort of provide social workers with knowledge to work effectively but also mixing that with practical skills. So it's important that social workers have legal literacy and that's set out within our standards of proficiency and also uh, the PCF as well. Along with these sort of requirements, I've seen from practice the power the law can have if you have a good working knowledge of it to fight for people's rights and promote social justice. So that's why it's important not just to have an understanding of the law but also being able to apply it to specific situations and contexts. So for example, the law affects us all in society but it's relevant in situations in relationships between people and organisations so like a landlord and tenant situation if you feel that the, the landlord's treating someone unfairly you can challenge that or if someone's being discriminated against you have some powers then to act on their behalf and whilst the law sort of requires us to do certain things so we have statutory responsibilities it also provides us with the ability to act in certain situations because it gives us uh, certain powers but we also need to be working within within it but also not just doing things because we're being told exactly what to do by the law because it doesn't work like that we need to apply the law in line with our, the rest of our skills and knowledge that we have as social workers and um, so in the next video I'm going to be talking around um, how I passed the law exam and the resources I used for that